Hi, I'm Bryce. Despite what you might think, this is super hard and awkward and weird. There we go. Oh God, this is hard. I'm having a difficult time adjusting and I'll, <laughs> I'll make up for it with volume. Nope. <laughs> oh, fuck. I talk to myself a lot, so I figure, hey, why not talk to myself with a camera nearby? Maybe, <laughs> maybe someone else will get something out of it. That's as formal of an introduction as you're gonna get, I think. <laughs> what did I wanna talk about? That's a really solid question. I guess right now, this is my first video uh, on this channel. It's kind of just an outlet for me to talk about stuff, but I am a digital artist. Uh, I do a lot of motion graphics, a lot of Photoshop stuff, so I'm sure I'll incorporate some of that somehow. It's more of like a, just a test, just to see kinda, hey, is there an audience for me? And if, if there is, hi. I used to make YouTube videos back in like high school and the eighth grade on a completely different channel that I'm not even gonna mention. I kinda wanted to start this away from family eyes, away from friends, just so I can kinda do it without any, any outside influence other than just myself. So it's just kinda to be me and present myself and see if anybody's like, yeah, yes, 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 hey! So, you know, leave comments for what you want to see, a little bit about me, I like games, like video games and stuff. Uh, I care a lot about politics, I'm a well-informed person. <laughs> I think anybody is now, or the majority of people, especially in the online community, seem to be very engaged politically, which is great. I think the political awareness is super important. I'm, I would say I'm middle left, just so you have an idea of the kind of person I am. I dropped out of college. <laughs> Jesus. Um, there's this thing that fascinates me, and I kind of thought I might want to talk about it here. And uh, I, th I think it's a really interesting thought. But, you know, the holidays are over now. We're about a month into 2018, so maybe this has gone out of people's minds, but... Is Santa dead or dying? Just like the, the, the myth of Santa Claus? Because smartphones exist now and kids have smartphones and I feel like very soon parents are gonna start realizing, oh no, this is, they're gonna Google it. Like one, as soon as they're curious about Santa, they're gonna Google it. And they're gonna find out that Santa is not real and that their parents are lying to them. And I think that's an interesting kind of a concept. I saw a few videos this year that came out it was a pre-roll ad on YouTube. It was a video. It seemed like almost an advertisement for a Kickstarter campaign, but the actual product that was being advertised was like this very high-tech new age version of Santa's sleigh. And it wasn't a real product, obviously, but it was really interesting because the video seemed to just support children's belief in Santa. So it was like on there for kids, kind of. It was really cool to see that. Um, because I, I would never think to do that. I kind of think the Santa is dumb, but I think I would never tell a kid Santa's not real, probably. I haven't yet. I haven't yet. It just seems that information travels so quickly now, and there's there's such a clear oversaturation of, of, of information available that people can, and kids can seek out whatever they want, whenever they want, and I, I wonder if that's gonna be more, I think that's hugely beneficial, and it'll be really beneficial for the right people, but I, I, I wonder if it will also be damaging in some way, like children's innocence. I mean, porn. Porn, that's there. That's Googleable. Uh, I think it really comes down to how much control parents give their kids. The thing about my parents is that they don't understand the internet at all. So for them, when they were controlling my access growing up, it was all or nothing. They, they didn't have any idea of regulation or of, you know, controls. Like there's the YouTube Kids app now. I mean, when I was allowed, I didn't even have a phone at first. It was an iPod Touch and, you know, I had unlimited access to the internet, unlocked. I won't say that, you know, I immediately went to tons of porn sites or anything like that. I didn't, I was a pretty innocent kid. But when I got curious, I wasn't really afraid to look stuff up. I felt bad when I looked stuff up, I felt guilty and I think that's gonna play into a lot of kids' lives.
Huh? No, I, I, um, I'm, I'm, I'm pooping. I'm pooping everywhere. Tons of, tons of poop. Everybody poops. Everybody but me. Manipulate space and time. It's your universe in a box. Space and time. This holiday season, get your family what they really want. The patent pending Universe in a Box for the low, low price of $39.99 a year sold, plus shipping and handling. Side effects include, but are not limited to, nausea, anxiety, crippling depression, two girls, one cup, trippy toes, death, and dizziness. Treat your friends and family by playing God right in front of their mortal eyes. Don't listen to their lies. Yeah, I think it's fascinating. I, I think the next, you know couple decades are going to be really, really interesting in where technology goes, especially how they influence kids' lives. Very cool. Very cool. We live in such a weird time where everything's just escalating exponentially. I really don't, I don't know how things are going to go. I think that information being out there and technology being so readily available for everybody, I think that's awesome. I think that's dope, dude. I think that's fucking dope, bro. <laughs> I mean, I, I, yeah, I think all this stuff is really interesting, and I, I, I try to stay very aware of it. I try to keep myself informed constantly. Every day I'm checking, um, you know, Reddit and all these different news sites and stuff, just to kind of give myself just more perspective. A boo boo ba da That's a noise I discovered this morning. Snapchatted that. <laughs> Oh, add me on Snapchat and Instagram. I post a lot of my goofy, quirky stuff on Snapchat and a lot of my graphic design, motion graphic work on Instagram. That's pretty much it for now. I, 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 wanna, I wanna post more often. I wanna talk about stuff less to myself, more to any audience, just general public. Just put it out there. If you watch this, let me know, you know, whatever. Let me know your thoughts. Put them down below on anything. And if you, if you type in the comments below for me to kill myself, I say, I will not. I will not. I'm just, you know, prepping, you know? Just preemptive. That's a preemptive response to all the KYSs out there. No. So there. <laughs>